Hi everybody, Stitching Social here. I'm Jen. I'm Allison. And we're here, uh, what day is it today? Today's Saturday. Saturday the 10th, 10th of yeah, August. Yeah, August 10th. Yeah. And we have lots to show you. Allison came back from a stitching retreat in New yeah. Jersey, so I want to hear all the details on that. You've told me a few things, but... And mm -hmm. um, baby was sleeping, and then I look on the baby monitor, and I'm like, oh, I should just put that up. And I'm like, the baby's missing. The she's, she's missing. The baby wasn't in her crib. She's but that's well, because... Not my problem. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not my problem. But I just want to wanna say that her father has her, because I can hear him walking around upstairs. We're in my craft room. Yes. We're in Jen's cra Jennifer's craft room this time. Yeah. I called you Jen. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. You usually don't. Mm -hmm. But anyways... I introduced yeah. myself as Jen because so, that's what people call me. This is the first time we've been back in such a little. How am I trying to explain this? We did a video not too long ago. Uh, well, a month ago. A month ago, but it. That's better than our track record. Yeah, it's a less of a gap than it was between the last ones because I think the one oh, before that was February. So we're doing better. Yeah, we're doing. We're this doing is like well. the first time I've been in my craft room since, like, a long time. Yeah, when was last time? We were gonna film here? in the living room. I don't know. I, I don't I used to come down here all the time. Now it's also a toy room and spare bedroom and mm -hmm. Barbie Dream House so, land behind the iPad. Yeah, it's a so. multi purpose room. Okay. So one of the first things let's just discuss is that in our last video we talked mm -hmm. or I held up a pattern and said, Hey, anybody want this? I'll you had a giveaway. I wanna yeah, I just wanna pass it along. So this was a pattern, Chantilly. A lot of people had interest in this. Seven which people. Is nice. Oh. Seven people. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that is a lot. It's a really pretty pattern. Of course, the picture, you know, doesn't do it any justice. But yes, it's just it not something that I would stitch. And I think it's got some cut work in it. Mm. I think. I don't even know. See, that's... I don't even know. It might. I don't we know. We do have a winner. But we have a winner. So I did r random number generator. And... Uh, okay. Plan, knit, stitch. ER. Plan, Ooh. knit, stitcher. You won the pattern. Well, so whenever. contact below. Um, no, not contact. Yeah, just leave me a comment below or send no. me a comment on my Instagram. If you have Instagram, send one of us your address. Otherwise, what if you don't have Instagram? I think she has Instagram. I will because she put on her comment at. Okay. Plant, and I went and looked her up, and I think her name might be Darcy. But I'm not okay. sure. Well, congratulations. So, yeah, just get, get a, hold a hold of us, us and Jeez. I'll mail you the pattern. Sorry. Nice jinx. <laughs> okay. So, that is out of the way. We wanted to make sure we didn't forget yeah. it. We wanted to make sure. And we had, like, no um, deadline. No, I, we just said we comment just... below if you're interested, if you'd like to stitch this, and then <laughs> I'll mail it anywhere in the world. So, so we have our winner. We have our winner. All okay. Right. We didn't plan. We're going to just wing it. Okay, so before we talk about anything, tell me all about the retreat. I want to hear all about the retreat. Well, it, I'm referring Can to... Can I ask questions and then, like, interview you? Of course. I don't have Careful formal. with the table, Sorry. though, because you're going to rock. So, yes, this is the 2019 Floss Tube New Jersey retreat yeah. that was put on by the lovely Arlene Cohen, works mm -hmm. at ABC, and... Also, she had. I was just going to say there was a lot of helpers. A lot of helpers, um, women that were came together from the first retreat that you were attending at, and yeah. they met there. And stitchy friends are the best friends. And at these retreats, if you ever, we say this all the time, but if you ever have the opportunity to go to a I retreat, I can turn the monitor off because she's not in her bed. We highly recommend any I'm type of major retreat. fear of missing out. What is it? You know, you're missing out. FOMO? Like, no, but there's another abbreviation when you know you're missing out, not fear of missing out. You just know you're missing out because, you know, for those of you that are new, I had a baby on May 23rd. So my second baby. So I obviously wasn't able to go. I was expecting when um, sign up was happening for the retreat. So I knew that likelihood leaving my husband home with a two month old would really not be nice. And although saying that there was a stitcher there, I believe it was cow stitcher. Um, she had her two month old, but this baby never made a peep. <laughs> yeah, my baby would have, they would have like booed me out of the room. Yeah, this was her fourth, I believe. And um, yeah, so the, the baby was very well behaved. But yeah, yeah. you couldn't really leave well, your husband with two kids. And Victoria is not the type of baby that could just lay there, would just lay there and like 
relax. Like, she does that at home, but, like, when we're out, and she's teething now. Okay, anyways, I know that sounds weird that she's two and a half months in teething. I'll talk That's about that crazy. another time. Okay, yeah, it is crazy. So, I went down with Crafty Kim. We um, drove down together. On Thursday. On the Thursday. She picked me up at 4.45. Last week, because you were... Yeah. Yeah. 4.45 a.m. I have not seen... That oh or that light of day in a very long time, but the excitement of it. We drove down. It was Did you stop fantastic. and get a coffee on the way or no? Nope. She had um our Tim Hortons already. Okay. We only stopped I had to pee half about okay. two and a half hours in. Um so we stopped at a we call them on routes because it's just they're on routes. It's like a service station right on the highway. Yeah. And then we stopped again when we got gas. And we picked up Sammy um, from Sammy Stitches. Sammy J. Stitches. Sammy, Sammy J. Oh, I would have loved to meet you, Sammy, in oh, person. Oh, she is lovely. Oh, my gosh. We picked her up at the airport, and we were there at 1230. So that's a seven-hour drive that we did and uh it was fantastic because the first official start date of this retreat was friday but the unofficial start date technically was thursday because mm. we had the stitching room at one and um that's nice slowly we joke that it's slowly gonna get earlier and earlier and earlier <laughs> so it starts on monday and it's like a week long i'm waiting for it to start on a monday there you go. <laughs> all week. Oh, that'd be so nice. Hotel was great. The mm -hmm. room was great. Everything was just great. Um, I haven't now, seen any. How did you videos. feel about the drive, a seven hour drive, compared to when we went? We stopped at like three. Well, when we went. in the workshops? Like, we made a million stops. We I think the long we way. drove. It was a 15 hour day. Oh, yeah. It had to be longer than 15 hours, no. actually. You, I picked you up at eight. Yeah. We didn't get to the hotel oh until 11.30 midnight, so... We were so overstimulated when we got there because we had stopped liked at so it. many shops. Exactly. I liked it this way, even though it was yeah. super early. We had no problem... We're in Canada. And we had no problems crossing We're close the to the border. border though. We're, we're about 45 close. minutes from the Buffalo, New York um, border. I liked it because we were there by 12.30. Plus, you knew you were going to shop at the... Retreat. So. Yeah. So we didn't even go into the hotel first. We went yeah. to Meal Workers Delight and shopped. Okay. Yeah, we shopped for the first day. And so when you were at the shop, were there other stitchers there, like that we you recognized from the previous year? Um. Yes, and there was also stitchers there that they had a stitch in, as well. So there was a lot of stitchers sitting there. Okay. Stitching. That's such a nice shop. It's really nice. And they rearranged oh, it. She asked me so many you. times, what do you want? What do you want? Tell me what you want. Give she me a shopping list. She didn't want anything. I don't need anything, really. Like, But I must say, you were missed, though, at the retreat. As mm. soon as anyone said hello to me, how are you? Great to see you. First thing was, how's your sister? How's oh, Jennifer? That made me feel nice to Everyone hear Everyone knew you weren't coming. Um, nobody asked, is, is Jennifer here? So they all knew that you weren't coming, but you were very... Was it weird sitting there without me, kind of? Or not really? Um, The whole experience was just different than our last yeah it was just different a different experience we knew a lot of the women that were there um we had two male stitchers there that as well okay um so i can't say that it was all women because it wasn't this time it was just different yeah but when we went to the retreat last time we mostly traveled together we maybe ate together once but we were so busy we, shopping and even doing yeah. things at different times and i so. found that kim because kim and i were rooming together that we pretty much spent the entire time together yeah um, only one time i on friday i went for a nap and she went back to the shop okay and then i think sunday she went to the shop on oh, the last I'm so day jealous. so we basically spent the entire i went to bed earlier I had maybe an hour in the room, which was nice to wind down before she came up. And yeah. So I was already ready for bed. But we spent the whole weekend together, which was fantastic. So it was just... I'm glad you went, though. I'm glad. Like, I'm okay that I didn't go. I'm, yeah, that's what you were saying yeah, I'm all okay. along. Yeah. Because it's not going to be I the last live. one, whether it's one in New Jersey or another yeah. retreat. We're going to get two retreats, so... Yeah. Well, my husband's promised me I can go to the retreat next year if Arlene 
She does it. If you do it again, Arlene, my husband's promised me you'll go next year. Because the whole, he, he came home, he was on a business trip, and then he got home on Thursday. And I was like, oh, they're there now. Mm -hmm. And then Friday, I was like, oh, they're having so much fun. I know it. And then Saturday, the whole thing. And I was like, oh, they're leaving now. So I felt like I was part with you guys, even though I, you know. And you definitely were there in spirit, just with everyone asking about you. And okay, so at, you. thank you. So at the shop, what did you buy? Well, or yeah, tell me what you bought. Um, of course, I didn't even unpack my stuff. Okay, I haven't seen. First, I bought this bag. <laughs> she hasn't seen anything. So I bought um, this bag from Diana. Look at this fabric. Oh, I've never seen one of her bags. Yeah. They're moving furniture upstairs. I can hear them. So, they better not call me. I'm on and break. And then, as she's checking out that bag, yeah. um, look at this. I know, what, I know what that is. This is a Evertote Notion bag. Oh, stop it. Oh, now, my gosh. Caroline so is a fellow Canadian stitcher, and we are very lucky to call her a friend. Um, she has been to yes. stitch with her um, on a number of occasions. Um, I went over to say hello to her, and um, she's like, oh, I've got something for you. So she gave me this bag. Because I was talking with her about how she had a beautiful bag in her shop, Evertote. We'll link it below. And it was this fabric, the scissors. So she's like, I've got something for you. And she gave me this. And then, because she's such a generous soul, she had one for everybody. So everybody got a notion That's a bag. lot of work. How many people were at the retreat? 100 people? 102 or 3 or so. Wow. And um, now she wasn't selling her bags. Um, may maybe she'll oh, explain Oh, look why. at this. Oh my gosh, look at her label. I know. She makes, Caroline, I don't have you her, make beautiful um, bags. Yes, we've, Ooh, we've got, got a medium Ooh, where'd size. you get this? Well, hold on, don't get, you're getting Sorry. ahead of yourself. <laughs> Your hands are all sweaty. <laughs> Oh, my heart's racing. I'm getting all like... She hasn't seen whoa, it. I'm getting a hit on all this new we stuff. We digress. This is... Um, the, oh, that's... Diana, that's a gorgeous that's bag. Diana's bag. So, actually... Um, Let me look at it again. The, uh, she had a matching one that mm. had very similar, but I think the zipper was this teal color, and Kim bought that, so... Oh, okay. So you guys she, are twinning. So we're twinning. So did, so did she have a booth there? With like bags? No, she just had um, a handful of her bags that she was selling, and we were able to catch her at the She's beginning. She put of a little trip. stitch in there. That wow! I think that looks like a little stitch to keep it all in. Yeah. There. So at Gorgeous, this retreat, Diana. this retreat, a lot of Arlene was very gracious in the sense that she allowed people to sell their wares, which was really cool because you were able to one For support sure. your fellow stitchers. And um, and support and just get these handmade goods that, I mean, we're in Canada, so to get some of these um, things shipped to us, we've got duty, um, like customs on it, and we've got it shipping and, and whatnot. So um, there's no real rhyme or reason here of what I'm showing. Um, but well, sh show us what was in this bag. The big so ones. in this bag, Go from it, oh, I bought this Rosewood Manor. Now, I thought it was a bigger pattern than that. It's so tiny. Oh, yeah. It's a tiny story about this one. On the Facebook group, Can I look at it? Well, you're... somebody um, was posting, an uh, individual, a stitcher was saying, oh, if anyone has this pattern, nice. we're going to start it. So, of course, Ooh. I love it. I love the colors. We tried to, we being Kim and I, tried to get it from our a shop here in Canada. We placed the order. Turns out they didn't have it. It was going to take two weeks. So I said, okay, Those I can't Those colors are amazing. I know. So then I said to Cam, okay, if it's meant to be, it will be. If we've got, if they've got them at Needleworkers Delight, we'll buy the pattern. They had three copies left. So I grabbed one and Kim grabbed one and Sammy. Nice. So, and it came with the What's the hashtag pack. for it? There, this is a sow, right? Or no? I think there was. But um, it's possible. If there is, we'll link it below. And so it came with the thread pack. Write that down. And these are the color. Like, you can't really tell because it's in the plastic. But you'll, I'll show you my progress. So I am doing this on a 32 count Wexford linen. Love it. Love Wexford linen. Mm. Somebody was talking about it. Was it Emily C was raving about Wexford linen. So I. 
Educate That's himself. a nice purple DMC. No, it's all Valdani. Oh, it's all Valdani? They're all Valdani. Oh, they're on the cards? Yeah, Sorry, I missed that. I was writing something it down. It came on this card. And that came with the pattern. So you In bought a kit. It was all together. So the only thing I bought was my linen, which I got a, um, oh, a remnant. Wow. It was 8 by 16. So I will take oh, it off. They're really gorgeous. That. I've talked about Valdani before. Now, with the Valdani, you've, you've said you're... Oh, yeah. You've talked about it. I've been used to... Excuse me, um, doing the loop method. So when I took first took my first strand off, it went way too long because you can't do loop method when it's variegated. You're right. So it was fraying like mad. And then I made shorter strands, but it frays. Yeah, it's, it's soft. It's very fray-y, if that's a word. It's very soft. I think I, like, and when you pull it, and depending on the, oh, no, sorry. I just want to touch it. <laughs> Oops, one more. Um, I haven't taken it. I've been very stitch. isolated. Human contact. Got my little six by six Q snap, which I highly recommend. Yes. Hey, where'd you get that? Uh, with thing? you. No, with you. Can I touch it? Hold on. Let me show it first. There's my progress. Now I made a bit. That of a does not. Sh it's darker in my craft room. Like that's... I made a little boo boo. It's so much prettier in person. This here was supposed yeah. to be a little further down. Oh, that's but it's okay. red. I can't rip out red. No. On white. So I'm just going with it. Look at my little Gus Gus. He's mm -hmm. cute. Where'd you get him? workers delight every single thing in this project was brand new with the retreat Aww. with the exception of this yeah that's so nice, nice that, that's now nice. when you see this you're gonna remember it so it's oh, a 32 that is count. really pretty so oh my linen gosh only comes in white and then it's dyed that's what new the workers this is me. really nice and nice that would be nice for stitching in hand so this is 32 count so wax oh. linen is a linen but it's very similar to an even count even, excuse me. Even yes, even. I can see that. An even. I see what you mean by that. And here's another thing. This is gorgeous. So will you have more than enough floss to do the whole thing and maybe another one? Yeah, I think because if you getting. if you want to do it, you probably <laughs> I would have probably enough. Now, one thing I've noticed. I'm just kidding. It can be your thing. No, you can stitch it if you want. Although we say that all the time, we want to stitch with the right. other stitching, but we've never done it yet. So. The yellow, it says in the pattern, it's HE11. Oh, it's got mousy guy sticking to my... HE11. But what comes in the thread pack isn't HE11. It is 26. So it was the same in Kim's as well. So that's just kind of a heads up if you get your kit with the fabric. This was $20. And you get... That's a really good deal. I know. I know things are... Because there was another LNS um, here, I won't say which one. Anymore, yeah. I won't say which one, but the chart was 22, and it did not come with the thread pack. I know. And they're 3.95 each, so um, this. That's a really thing. nice chart. Really, really pretty. So, last Beautiful. thing I will say about this particular project is I am now a Q-snap right holder. Look at this. So why do you like that? Well, it's know. cute. It's super cute. One, it's cute. Where'd you get this from? You know, workers. I told you, everything in this particular project. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's nice. Um, I find... Don't stretch it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's my big head. Um, it helps... Now, this is a small piece of fabric, but it helps contain... You can keep your ears warm and your cue snap. Yeah. It's like a little garter. Um... But yeah, you can tuck in your fabric, and also I wash my hands while I'm stitching a lot. I'll get up and wash my hands. Yeah. Um, this way, you're not touching your fabric. Cool. So that's that. Um, and then there was things in there I wanted to know about. Wow. And this again, Everto, check her out. She is on Etsy. Well, um, a lot of people were giving things away. Because stitchers, again, are always so generous. This is from Barbara oh. Thompson. It's a beautiful counting pin. Look at that. Did she make that? I believe she did. Let me see. And it's oh. absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. And she... Barbara! Yeah, it was... That's really gorgeous. Beautiful. I love that. And it's a really nice bead. It's like a bluey. I guess I really turn your name over, Barbara. But. Um, oh, I found chocolate. 
Look at that. Oh, okay. I'm, here. Everything's all kind of spread out, so I'll show the beautiful things that we have been given as I go along. So sure. What else is in here? Um, we were given uh, a lovely, clips. some clips. Now, unfortunately, I was in the bathroom when these were handed out, so I will find out from Kim who is the generous stitcher. And, ooh, I brought a snag, oh, snag nabbit. You need a container like I have for it. Yeah. Just so you don't lose it. Um, these scissors I got last year, but we got is a part of our Floss Tube New Jersey bag. That's a nice bag. It's a, it's really, like, feel this. Like, it's very... Oh, that's substantial. soft, actually. That's nice. substantial. And we had... In there. Next year. I won't. I guess I won't show everything, but I'll just show my favorites from it. So this was a floss tube, New Jersey, with a little scissor. Somebody made that. This was in. So, in our That's swag fancy. bag, that her helpers. Um, a oh, lot, I like that. It's not heavy at all. They a lot of these things were handmade, and that was one of them. I want to take a class on how to make these. Mm. Um, I, here's one that's loose, but here was a counting pin. Oh, that wow. was included. Oh. So she had oh. her helpers make these. Oh my gosh. That's, that's a lot of work. Uh, we got, I'm sure there'll be videos that'll go through everything, but a uh, erasable oh, that's highlighter. Nice. Yeah. But this was one thing I was excited about because I wanted one. It is a retractable. <gasps> is it metal? Uh, no, it's plastic. But, um... And it says floss to New Jersey. Oh, so I actually wanted one of these. Touches. I my mom had a green one. A little tiny green one. That was no, like I don't. You have the memory, not me. And then look at these beautiful books. Let's see how far away we are from them. So this is a beautiful book that was handmade. Wow, we're like two feet away. That I... Like, look at this. Like the deep... Oh, I can't really see because it's that is, white. Imagine if I broke her. So then I was Ooh. writing my Oh wish my list. gosh! So this was me. Show me that. Um, New Jersey retreat. Holy smokes! It was oh. just fabulous. What was in the? Um, they they use stamps to stamp the pages. Look, like every page is something yeah, on it. Made it. And look at these. Like this little notions bag. Where'd you get that? In the in the swag bag. Seriously? And there was things. Oh, oh in my it. gosh. Um, oh yeah, you do have notes in here. Ooh, look like at this one. Thread, like look, look at that stamp. That is so nice. So like some thread. That is so wax. creative. Okay, but and like look at these cards. It, it was just wonderful. So look nice. at this page. Oh wow. Oh here it is. Look at this little cutie. Oh. Wait. From Carmen. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's, it's so sick. tiny. So I put this on my name tag, and I had this. Uh, I'm so overwhelmed. Tag. I wish you so guys. That was could another see. generous stitcher, Carmen. That was giving oh, those out. That is so cute. I know. New Jersey, and she stitched on the back. She gave these to everybody. No. She had a big tub of them. She was giving them out. Okay, so if you went up and talked, if you talked to her at some point, maybe or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Look, and she's oh. And then oh, look. Oh my gosh, that is amazing! What a good way to use up all your little pieces. Yeah, especially I knew I was saving glass. them for a reason. So then I bought uh, these needle minders. Oh, and there's different ones on the back and too. It's, they're rever oops, they're reversible. Oh, so this that's from the back Amy. of it. Yeah. Like, and they were all like look at the chickens, the roosters. I like this one because of the white cat. That's your white cat. And yeah. And then this is her business card. So check her out. Should we link her below? Mm hmm Let me see the card. So that's Amy. She was lovely. So I bought these from her. And that's about it. No, it's not. Um, again, we were going on the fly. So, Abby from Top Knot Stitcher, she was there. She has an Etsy store. We will link her below as well. We I'll will? Okay. Yep. 
Give so that to me in a second. I bought um, some needle minders from her and from her Etsy shop, and she delivered them to me in New Jersey. So I so I bought these ones from her. Look at those. So I picked them out. And then I have one more, a haunted mansion, which is somewhere here. Hold on. I don't want to make any mistakes. So these are from Abby from Top Knot Stitcher. Oh. She has an Etsy store. And she makes all of those. Those are nice. Renders. Oh, that's neat that she put little foam in there to yeah. protect it from being pushed. Well, that's really cute. So those are the ones. It was hard to I like the pick. mermaid one. I know. And the watermelon that's so cute with a little bite out of it. Did you show them? Yeah. It Good for summer, right? Show our friends. And um, I bought this project bag from uh, the Redheaded Stitcher. I believe the name was Sarah. Like, look at that. Like, And it's got this, you can't really see because it's clear, but a plastic tag. So, really like that. Um, Go back. Show me. Oh, look, look at the lace look on at it. Fabric in it. So this is a project bag by the Redheaded Stitcher. Okay. Um, Redhead Stitching Gnome, excuse me. The Redhead Stitching Gnome. Ah, so cute. This is a very well made bag as well. And she actually, on her brag table of what she brought, she actually that had all really of her nice. projects. With that these looks like labels. she quilted it, but it's not. Ooh, can I see that? Uh, yeah. It's so nice to see different types of project bags. Oh, that is really gorgeous the lace on there. So, those... you can put your project on there. Mm -hmm. Now it's already been twenty six minutes, and only oh, need talking. Oh, some good stuff in here. I know. Um, that'll be a different segment. And the last thing I want to talk, about, second last thing I want to talk about for the retreat was the Smalls Exchange. Now, the yeah, Smalls Exchange, there. I took a picture of what I did. I should post it on my Instagram. I stitched a prairie schooler um, one. So mine came in this beautiful box. That's it nice. It was um, sitting I on my suitcase. Them running. Can you guys hear that? Can and Mike's running like, oh, what's in that nice box? I actually bought another project bag from Needleworkers that I did not bring that looks like this. So, you ready to see my smalls exchange? Yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh! So, it is a wow. needle book with this needle minder. Oops. Here. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> Feel if you get a chance. Oh my gosh. So look it's at a crown this needle minder. I know. Really, wow. Like, look at that. And this was from Betsy. And it's got um, fleece inside. Now, this needle, she came... Well, you can't see it. It's here. It's white. Um, did not have a label in it. It's a lance needle. needle she was saying. And uh, the inside fabric matches like hello. I uh, know. Now I must say, because I thought this was so sweet, in her card, she had said that the the design and colors uh, reminded her of the purple maple tree that's in her daughter's front yard. Oh. I know. And it was so cute that That's really nice. She had on this little card, but what was really cute was this ribbon to tie it. She's like, come find can you see it? Come find me. So the Lance needle and it was a twenty six and she Was Betsy there on the other retreat? Did you do you remember her from the first retreat? Um, I believe this was her first retreat. But that's not all. Also in this beautiful box that was in a bag. Is these scissors, these Fisker scissors with this beautiful, and look at that Oh my turtle. gosh. The clip on it has like a heart. I never even know. Yeah, That's really so cute. The, oh my goodness. Is that DMC that I see? I don't know. The thread? I think so. But it's stunning, Betsy. Oh, I wow. love it. Wow, look at those beads. And like and the those are nice scissors. scissors. Oh, these are they're, really nice scissors. They're Fisker scissors. Oh. If you've ever had a chance to oh. 
So I was just over that the moon. That is so nice. Oh, I bet they sniff so good. But every now I did take videos turtle. of everything, but and I took a video of all of the smalls exchange that once they were okay. opened, everything was just stunning and beautiful. I would have been over the moon for any of the the gifts that wow. were given. Oh, that is so nice. And I believe it, the fabric, the, excuse me, the thread was a silks for you. She was saying. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like a silk. Mm -hmm. That's really beautiful. That's so nice she put that in the note that it reminded her of her daughter's tree. Exactly. Now. Love it. Love it. I never got a chance to look at this. Oh, my God. Look, what what's inside of that? There's something cool in there. Oh, there it was filled. Now, another um, beautiful stitchy gift was uh, from Regina and Megan. They gave out uh, peels. And they oh, were all one color. For the sides? Yeah. They were all one color. And um, oh, I'm so jealous. Then we, then we oh. changed, that we exchanged. Have you, uh, everyone, I think, has been talking about the peels. They are great. So these are two, are for you. They're for me? They're for you. Thank you. Share the stitching. So, and then Megan was telling me. Oh, they don't go straight. Oh, okay, they don't work how I thought. They I'll show you how they work. Because I had my fabric and I rolled my fabric on the Q snap and put them up. But your Megan was telling me, it was giving me great tips. Um, Megan Laster stitches. She's on in uh, floss tube as well. Like little... She's like, you fold it and then you put it on the Q snap. Okay. If you roll it, it gets too puffy and doesn't hold. You've got to. Fold it in. Show me. I will. Why don't you put that back on your thing and show me. I'll show you when you're doing your thing. Okay. And the last thing that I wanted to... Oh, yeah, these are for me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, those are yours. Thank you. Now, again, I was telling you that you weren't forgotten at the retreat. So I have a gift for you from Miss Regina. Um, I won't say her last Regina's name. Regina's Megan's mom, mom, right? Yeah, they come together. She was celebrating her birthday, too. Regina? Regina was... Happy birthday, Regina. Mm. So, this is a project bag that she is giving to you. For me? For you. Oh, my She hasn't goodness. seen it yet. I asked her, do you want your gift before the video or after? So oh, my gosh. So, she is a beautiful quilter and seamstress. Oh, my... Regina, thank you. Yeah, so you have to... Oh. I have her email, and I'm on... Um, oh, I love purple. Oh, I love it. Mm hmm This is my third project bag. Really? It yeah, comes to the retreat because you buy them all. <laughs> That's not Look at all. this, like I've got Diana's bag on my side. You can have that bag. Because Regina this is, is this also this would be... so... There you go. Oh, I love this. So, oh, good job. Because she is also so generous oh, so and, nice. and thoughtful, this is for Adriana. Really? Yeah. Oh, that is so... Oh, she's going to love this. So I have the matching one, too. She gave me. Look at the fabric. Look inside. at the inside fabric. Oh, my gosh. Look. The little paper dolls. Look at the paper doll outfits. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's going to be all about this. So she'll be able to put her treasures in there. Oh, in the pink. She loves pink. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I don't know if I showed this properly. Oh, wow. And look at the funky back. I love this. Regina, thank you. So that was, um, I wanted to make sure that those got to you right away. And that. Um, oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Thanks for thinking of me. Mm -hmm. So that's all I'm going to really show. Um, again, I'll reiterate, if you have the opportunity to go to a retreat, we highly recommend it. We will, if. Um, Arlene does a New Jersey retreat next year. We definitely will go. I think our mom would like to go too. Mm -hmm. um, Even if you can't get away to an actual retreat, make your own. Like fi find the public library. Not librarian. everyone's so lucky though that have stitchers in their area. Facebook is That's a true. great medium to find local stitchers. For example, there was a fourth Canadian that was at the retreat, Caval. She was so cute. Love her. Um, she oh, made sure nice to, to come. So she's in Barrie, huh? which is two hours away from us, I would say. Two and a half? Yeah. Yeah. So she flew down and um, so... She came by herself? Yep. Yeah. 
So she's gonna come to. Oh, it would be nice to meet her. Yeah. She's gonna come to the Hamilton Stitch in. Yeah, she's gonna try okay. to um, come to the next Hamilton Stitch night or day. So we love her too, because Stitchy friends are. What else can I ask you about the retreat? You guys had a pizza party. Yes. So it was so well thought out because this was the second time she was, she being Arlene and her helpers were able to really um, perfect everything. And the first official night of the retreat, we did have a pizza party. And again, because she's very thoughtful and courteous, she asked those that have allergies and, um, I don't eat gluten. I have a gluten allergy, and several others were as well. So she even got us gluten-free pizza, Pizza Hut. I don't think Pizza Hut in Canada has gluten-free. Wow. So, and then we had breakfast every day at the hotel that was included, and then there were whoopsie daisies. There was a lunch that was um, on the last day. This is really nice. They were all different too, and these were handmade. They were all different. Oh. Um, Kim, check out craft. Keep an eye out for Crafty Kim's video. I'm sure she'll show hers. Hers was a different color. So who made? Do you know who made those? It's written down. Um, yes, in your it's paperwork. It's written down in the paperwork. Wow. Oh, so I'm so overwhelmed. Definitely. This is really cool. I've heard people talk about these rings on some videos. And actually, Regina gave me a whole bunch. It's nice. Oh. With all these nice little cards. Those were in the. Um, That's. Really I think nice. maybe even Regina even made those. I'm feeling know. lightheaded just from all the beautiful stuff. I know. That's the thing. It was great, and I didn't even show what I purchased. I knew the workers' delight. But I rambled on enough. Oops, it's sorry. been. 36 minutes of just me rambling about how lovely the retreat Well, you was. could talk for over an hour about it. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even show what I bought from Nina Workers. Are you not going to show it? Um, what was fabric and some patterns? We want to see it. Do you want to see it? We want to see it. Um, I actually did very well. I brought cash. And I did not spend more than my cash. Excuse me. That's very reserved. I was So what I did, I went to the shop twice. So what I did was I was shopping. And then I would sit down in the corner by myself and go through everything. And do I really love this or could I resist? And then the things I resist for pattern wise, I would take a picture of them. And then I would go up and he was checking out my purchases and then I'd be like, okay, what's the total? Okay. And then I'll either take away or put back something. Okay. So I did very well. I stayed on budget. I would just buy everything. I would just well, that was us last year. Out. That yeah. was us last year. I think it was like eight times Buy doubles. Because I want to be able to go every year and... Yeah. And you don't have to buy everything you yeah. see. Yeah. Like I was, I went with somewhat of a list. I knew patterns that I, I really did want. And I was actually talking to a woman when I first got there and we were talking about Disney things. And, uh, it's just the corner of my eye. We were standing by the wall of all the new things and three patterns in a row that were on my list were there. I'm like, Oh, I squirreled. So that's funny. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Remember last year you said, okay, if I buy it, if I buy it, if I go into Needleworkers Delight and I want one of those stands, you tell me to check myself because we had already been to the shop. We had been to like three shops already and like we had clearly, well, there's some nice stuff. We mm -hmm. clearly bought enough stuff. And then, so you're like, hey, tell me to check myself. <laughs> and so we get to the shop and you're like scheming in the corner to buy the stand. And I'm like, uh... Hello, check yourself. And you're I like, didn't even be hear quiet. You. you didn't even hear me. No. And you know what? It's funny because <laughs> I don't use that stand very often. I do like it at retreats. And I did you stitch, bring it? I did. And I did stitch on it. But the tables were smaller. And there was eight people on the table. I didn't feel like I had enough room. You just felt like you wanted to. Yeah. You were going to elbow your neighbor. And then I was working on that tiny piece that was a six by six Q snap. I'm not going to put a six by six Q snap in the frame. Um, but yeah, I did very well. Um, there was a freebie table and I'm just brought my favorites and it was so satisfying when the things I brought for the freebie table, I put them out and I kind of, I didn't put them out right away cause I 
it was nice to go up multiple times. And but when you saw things. your stuff gone, you're like, oh, when good When I home. saw that my stuff was gone, I'm like, oh, someone gave it a new home. That's which nice. Which is really cute. So I bought, I got the, this is from um, Hillside Samplings. Now, our mom has stitched this. And she didn't she, know it was a part of the series. So Is it really? It or is. is it part of that monthly thing she has? What do you mean? Well, she has a monthly quilt that she made. No, that's not it. This was, she made, she did okay. this as a little pillow. Okay. She did do snowmen that were 12, but she didn't know okay. that there was different Mom seasons. was into monthly series before it was a thing. Yeah. Well, maybe it's always been a thing. We're just late to the There's party. autumn and winter. Oh, let me we see. We really like seasonal. Who so, doesn't? The stitcher oh. who put those out. Oh. Thank you. So, yeah, whoever put that out. That's really nice. Um, so of the patterns that I bought, it's um, across the Crosswind Collection Biscornu. This is Stripping Sparrow. There's actually a cardinal, and Kim bought the cardinal. Mm. That was on my list. You just pass everything over here. Oh. This I didn't know the pattern was so big. Excuse me, but I didn't realize it was a full size. I thought it was like a card folded. Mm. Sometimes that... Because I took pictures of what I bought a couple days ago and sent them to her. Oh, that's nice. Love it. Love it. And then, of course, the hands-on design block party, meow, and Kim got the woof. That's cute. And did you get the pins or no? No, the pins don't come it, with them. No. And the ki pins were actually in here and it had the price. And I'm like, I don't think that's a price for everything. But the pins were $15 on their own. You should have bought the pins. Well, don't say that. See, if she was here, I would have If she was oh, yeah. there, I would have spent Yeah, more. maybe that's why you spent less. I'll tell you what, <laughs> this is what I was thinking. If I stitch this and I go back okay. to New Jersey and if it's stitched and completed, then I'll buy the pins. But I got to stitch No, you should have bought the pins. No, because they're just going to sit there. Team buy the pins. Oh. Yeah, you should have bought the pins. But you know what? It's okay. You, you no, know what? I'm good. I'm Here. good with my decision. These are all through the night. And Jennifer might have this one. So I got those because, come on, they were four and three Yeah, I have hours. that one now that I see it. Yeah. I think I have it. That's okay. That's okay. okay. We're supporting. And then... Um, That's nice. Another block party by Hands on Design, House on a Hill. And I got a few of the skeins. Ooh, yeah, that's it. nice. So that was on my list. So far, everything except all of the nights were on my list. Nice. And then this heart string sampling. See, I could understand. These are nice pins that come on this one. But I can understand why you didn't want to buy those pins. But, but come on, those other pins said meow. This one, when I opened it up, it turns out this is a quote from Lucy Maud Montgomery, the author yeah. of Anne Green Gables. Canadian. Oh. That's cute with all the little kitties. And then this is the Blue Flower Summer Quilt. Oh, that's this cute. This is on my list. And I'm going to get the called for fabric from our LNS. Hey, that other pattern that you have with the other quilts, could you do the same thing? Mm -hmm. You're talking about the one I sent you? Yeah. I got a freebie summer quilt. Maybe. Depends. Huh. And the only other thing I bought was another blue, the Blue Flower. I think loving I've seen this one. Loving them. I sent you a picture of that because there's a girl. I know, but I don't think I've seen She's got right here. Aww. And this, oh, I see. That's it there. Okay. This is spring magic. That's cute. And I got a few of the, the over dies there. So, is this, there's a glare. Yeah. And that's okay. You'll that's see it when she stitches it. And I got Ooh, some fabric. Nice. Just because I love it. Penny, that copper penny, that does look like a copper penny. Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's, I... Oh, I love classic color Fun works. fact, Canada got rid of the, the penny. We don't have pennies anymore. I love mm -hmm. that. That's really cute. That's all I got. This picture, look at the flowers that are coming out of the cauldron. Like, how And the gigantic raindrops. That? You should change your hair to red. Because you know, you can put that out for, like, late summer into spring. I like that. Excuse me, into fall. There's the robin's nest. Down there. Love it. That's all I got, guys. Oh, you were shaking the table. Sorry. Um, I think that's all I have to show. Wow. Mm -hmm. that's, that's overwhelming. 
But you know what? Half of the stuff I got was gifted. Yeah. Right? That's amazing. Because again, that's amazing. Stitchers are very generous. I want to know what's inside this. Oh, it's sticking to something. It's, um, magnets. It's like one of those little slap on wrists that we used to have when we were kids. Yeah. That is really cool. Showing our age a bit. And it stays closed. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Showing our age. Yeah. They can see that we probably are old enough to remember the slap on wrists. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, there's a new movie. I don't know if it's out yet, but it's Mr. Rogers. I'd like to go see it. That's already out on Netflix. Are you talking about the uh, Will You Be My Neighbor? Or are you talking about Tom Hanks? Tom, the Tom Hanks one. Oh, that's not out yet. What's that called? I don't know. I don't Mr. Know. Rogers. Maybe with Mr. Rogers. I don't think it's, I don't even know if they're done filming it. Anyways. Um, okay, what else? What's next? Um, I have two things fully finished. Do you guys want to see those? Let's show those. I wasn't going to show them, but Allison yes. said I should do it because they're already on the wall. I got these two things professionally framed. But you know what? I mean, when you get something professionally framed, <laughs> it's not cheap. So enjoy it and show it. We want to see. So this is By the Bay. Um, around the robin's nest. Look at that. Like, come on. The sh colors are showing really true. Mm -hmm. I love around this around the bay, right? Yeah. Every like, look by, at that. Sorry, not around the bay. Our, by the Bay Needle Arts. I love it. She designs gorgeous things. Mm -hmm. And <sighs> what's this pattern called? Around the robin's nest. <laughs> That's why we got the around. Yeah. That's beautiful. Like, I would want to I stitch opted that. for no mat. You can if you want. No mat, but there is glass. There's glass. I got art glass, which is no glare and stuff like that. That's why it's showing up so nice, maybe. So there's this one, maybe. maybe. And you really, really had fun stitching that, didn't I you? I loved stitching that, and I, when it was done, I was kind of sad, because I was like, mm -hmm. oh. And then I got this professionally framed, which is a Teresa Wensler, and it's the Sweetheart Rocking Horse. I think I gave it back to you, the pattern, didn't I? Perhaps. And look at the dainty frame on it. And I really, I went into the frame shop, really, these are from a framing shop, not from Michael's, but nothing against Michael's framing. It's just, I don't know why I mentioned that. Why did I mention that? You I don't know. In, you went into I the went shop. into the frame shop and I said to the girl, I really want two mats. I had it in my mind. I really, I spent a lot of time. It's not really showing. My craft room's not the best light. But um, I really, really wanted uh, two mats. I spent the time doing it. And, yeah. It, every so time I put why it, did you decide not to? Oh, sorry, I feel parched. <coughs> I'm thirsty. Um, I decided not to do two mats because every time I put a mat with it, it conflicted with the stitching and it took your eyes away from the stitching. And the, the beautiful fabric too. And the fabric was what really made it throwing off the color too because any color, you can't see. It's kind of like a minty green. My lighting is too, we shouldn't have filmed in here. Oh well. It's better to film in here than have interruptions. Right? Okay, so, so Sweetheart, I think it's called Sweetheart by Teresa mm -hmm. Wensler. It's one of the rocking horses. That was for her daughter. Yes, it hangs in her bedroom. The new one. And... Oh, and then I finished... I finished my Not Forgotten Farm, which is in the air piece. I... Yeah, which is in the air, it's called. This is on 22 count hardanger in gold. Now, would you use hard anger again? Yeah. I would just not use two threads for 22 count. <laughs> it's a little bit tight. Oh, that's right. Now, it's a little bit more... Mustardy. Mustardy in person. Yeah. But that, And you're using anchor black? I used anchor black. And I just... It's so cute with the little witches everywhere. And it was really addictive because I would do one little witch and it was super easy to use one thread. Now, one color, I mean... I like switching colors when I'm stitching. You don't like monochromatic? I don't pieces. mind it. It was a nice change. Then I need to find another monochromatic. I have some other mono. What is it called? Monochromatic? 
I need to find some, I need to find another one. But anyways. You just said you didn't like it. Well, I always need to have one in my project rotation, just because. I don't mind it. I like switching colors. I like the effect. You can still get this pattern. I think you've enabled quite a few people, actually, to do it. I think so. I think so. So that's done. And I don't know if I'm getting it professionally framed. I haven't decided yet. You might be able... It's stiff enough that you might be able to do it yourself. Yeah. No problem. It's hard, it was hard to iron it. How come? I don't know. Okay. So there's that. And then... I... Then... So I finished that. And I was like on a mission to finish it. Because it was kind of... It's Thankfully. been in my... Like, it's been in my um, whip rotation for, like, or rotation. I don't really have rotation, but, like, a year. So, I really wanted to get it done. And, I, and my goal was to get it done for this Halloween. So, you want to be able to put it up? Yeah, put I it think up. you should frame it yourself. I'm, okay. You shouldn't have any problems framing. Because it's stiffer, um, you shouldn't have any problems. Then I finished that and I was like, oh, what am I going to do now? And I haven't had a lot of time to kit stuff up. It's pushing it now. This is 51 minutes so far. And it's probably like going crazy. Everybody's going crazy upstairs. But anyways, um, then I, this is one, this was my sat a Saturday start that I started for Stitch Mania. This was my sixth start out of seven. So it's by Not Forgotten Farm Tomato Season. You mean you season. got to seven or this was... You had seven I did planned. seven. I did seven. I had nine planned. I got to seven, mm -hmm. but this was my sixth start, mm -hmm. my second last start. So and I and I made pretty good progress. This is the tomato of a thousand stitches. Like it is. There's like so many. Like it's so much to fill in. It's all done. Whoops. Oh, my needle and everything. Just no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just leave it. My needle minder. It's well, not, it's bigger than I thought. Yeah. What count is it? Uh, 28 count, I think. That's a huge tomato. I like your little 28 shoes. count. Yeah, I'm not sure what linen I'm using it on. I'm using all the called for DMC. And, like, you know when your borders match up and you're like, oh, my borders matched like, up? Oh. Well, when the tomato board, the tomato borders matched up, I was like, Ooh. hallelujah. So you don't have a wonky tomato. No. But you know what? I would have been okay with a wonky tomato. It is kind of wonky. Look at the little chicken and her, like, little red hair. It's like a little wispy red hair, and she's got like a creepy look on her face. Is she a chicken? Well, she looks really jaundiced to me. <laughs> look at her shoes. She looks jaundiced to me, and her little hooky shoes, her little... She's so cute with her apron. That is a tomato of a thousand stitches. Yeah. Yeah. I showed my husband, I'm like, do you like this? And he's like, right yeah. I showed my husband, he goes, do you like this? And, and Or I said to him, do you like this? And he was like... It's okay. See what my husband says if I ask him, "What do you think of this?" He'll be like, "Oh, that's a really nice craft room piece." Right. So that's his indication of. That's really nice, but don't hang it in the house, mm -hmm. right? That's okay. There are craft room pieces, like funny, whimsical ones. So there's that. Oh, and then yesterday I started a project that was supposed to be. Sorry. I started a project that was supposed to be a Stitch Mania piece that was all kitted up, ready to go, that I didn't start yet. Ooh. Well, I didn't get to it for Stitch Is it Mania because I had the baby. Is it done? It's all done except I just have to finish up the border. It's called the Sunflower Seed. Sorry. It's called Mini Summer by the Sunflower Seed. That's cute. That's the chart. That was, look at that price, too. I know. That's really cute. I really like this chart, but I wanted different colors. Oh, you did your own conversion? I did my own conversion. So that's what I did. Summer Splendor, it says. But I'm not done the border. I'm going to put a red on the outside of the white. Mm. And then I might even, and then there's a space in the middle, and I might even do yellow on the inside. That's a good idea. It's really nice. Okay, so that's. I love stitching. That's all I have to show. Um, I have a finish that I had a a um, retreat finish. Ooh. So I'll. You didn't do that, that ring that clapper thing, did you? Did you go ring the clapper? I did not. I opted not to. 
Um, now I worked on this, the Rosewood Manor, and then I did work on ha Halloween at Hawkrin Hollow, but it was just a border of the next block, so there's no point of showing it. Careful, you're barking. Too. Sorry. You're making them seasick. So this is uh, Nimu Designs, Shalloween. I showed this in our last video. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, it's smaller than I thought. Oh, it's all wrinkly. And there's my finish. That's nice. Yeah, the picture doesn't do it justice. Now it's been rolled. That's okay. All week. Oh, I like that fabric. Ooh, look at that. This is picture wow. this plus gingerbread. It's not as gingerbready looking in the camera. That look at the pointy is. ears. Like, ooh, now we're gonna run into him. I decided against doing the word Shalloween. I took a vote of the people that were at my table. And then when people would come around, and everyone voted no words. I kind of agree with that. Um, Why is one wing up and one wing is down? Because he's like, oh, he's wonky. He's wonky. So that, that's it. I like that you left it off. And I would like to get this professionally framed because it's not going to be that much. Yeah, it's small. Oh, I love it. Me too. What kind of floss did you do it in? All the called for DMCs. Nice. Now I have another um, shallow. Uh, shallow There's another, a lot of back stitching on that. It's a lot of back stitching and a lot of confetti. I should have ironed it, but it's okay. If you um, do one of their patterns, there's a lot of confetti, but That's it's nice not big. Blown, if I can see a little bit of it, it's really blown up. Like, it's really enlarged, so it's easy to read. Yeah, the pattern was pretty good. Maybe that's why I thought it was bigger. I don't know. That's really... Oh, that's the back. Oh, that's so nice. I have another one. Nimu. Nimu Designs. Oh, the Busty Fairy? The Busty Fairy. I She's on a robin. But I didn't get it kitted up. So I got this when we all went to Gita's the last time, which is our owl nest. So, this was a retreat finish. I had three colors left of that DMC that I needed to buy. And the excitement of being at the shop on the Thursday, what I needed totally flew out my mm. brain. And I didn't get my three DMCs. So, I had to work on the... That's why you need to bring multiple, multiple projects. And that's why you need to bring a list. Well, I had a list. I just didn't look at it. Oh. That's why you need to bring lots of um, options for when you... Like lots of whips. So what are you stitching now? The I am stitching the winter by Rose oh right. That and then that's I need your to whip. start working on my next model stitch for Tiny Monitors. I'm doing the Christmas cell. Okay. The border in part one is done, and I am now working on part two. Okay. So I need that by the end of the month. Cool. That's about it. Can you think of anything else? Um, no, I can't. I think we covered everything. This is almost an hour, so. Almost an hour. So, again, we're going to get this out in the mail. So, DM your address mm -hmm. to us. Um, oh, and I, didn't, I didn't show that stuff, but that's okay. I'll do that in another video. What's that? The Disney charts. Oh, okay. I'll do that in another video. Sure. I got a haul. Exciting. A different haul. A Disney haul. Stay tuned. <laughs> got some every Saturday, time. today's Saturday, and every Saturday, the, the, the urge to go to a needlework shop is like pressing. I just want to go so bad. Why do I need to buy more things? I don't need more things. It's also to be it's like a collection, I guess. By the things. Right? It's like collecting's yeah and yeah totally and collecting's one hobby. Mm -hmm. And actually stitching for the fun of it. But I mean, also just um, scheming. It's all about the scheming. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's it for now. That's all we've got. So, hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your summer. Absolutely. And Some kids are back to weekend. school. Yeah. Some kids. So, maybe that means some more stitching time for those. Um, I do like the common thread um, hashtag that's going around on Instagram. I'm not participating, but I like seeing everybody's. It's interesting to see when you have a common thread with someone, whether it's their favorite book, their favorite yeah. thread count. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm with it. I, I, I'm up on my social media. Mm -hmm. Now, here's something that people want to know. Are you able to stitch much? Yeah. With the newborn? I, well, yeah, I'm stitching a lot. Is she, is she considered a newborn now or an infant? 
My infant. You know the. Um, I stages. call her my little beastie. But that's but I'm not really calling her that. But I've called her that a couple times, little beastie. You said that to Adriana too, though. Because. because so, my oldest, Adriana, her nickname was Beastie. We used to call her Beastie, and trust me, we called her that for a reason. And we didn't think that it... It was kind of an endearing term. Like, it was like, oh, you little Beastie. Like, it was kind of like an endearing term. Oh, yeah, term. it was an term. Yeah, it wasn't nasty. Yeah, yeah. And then, when we realized, oh, that sounds bad, is when we took her to daycare, when I went back to work. And then the daycare lady was like, little Beastie. And I was like, <gasps> nobody can call her but little Beastie but me. Like, that's... Like, that's my name for her. And then it kind of clicked. Like, that's kind of, like, not very nice. So, anyways, we had words with the daycare people. And you told them not to say that? We told them not to call her that. And we stopped using that term in public. And then very shortly after that, we stopped calling her it. Because we realized, okay. Was she answered to that? No. No. So, we won't so be calling the little one little beastie. But that's sometimes how I refer so to her. So, you do get some stitching so in? Yeah, I am stitching. Yeah, I'm just doing little bits. Like, I can't sit down like I used to and stitch for, like, an hour or two. Like, I get little bits, but um, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get a little bit. It's mm -hmm. perfect. And then, like, the baby's in bed by 9 o'clock. And so, well, has been. That can change, obviously. So, I've been stitching in the evening, but more, my stitching is more during when she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. When the baby's okay. sleeping. And then my oldest... My oldest daughter, uh, Adriana, she'll be going to school in September in a couple of weeks. Mm, so, so maybe some more. Maybe some more stitching. All right. Well, hope everybody enjoys, like we say, their weekend. We'll get this loaded up. Go and... see what chaos is happening upstairs. Yeah. I can't believe he went and got her out of her crib. I put her down. She was good. She must have been crying. Oh, she probably was. So maybe that means it'll throw off your routine now. All right, okay. wonderful floss tube stitchers, worth it. floss tube. So we're going to sign off for just over an hour, and hopefully it won't be too bad, too much longer before our next video. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Okay. Happy stitching.